Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video on Skyrim, the hooligans of Skyrim. I like talking about Skyrim because it's a game I don't know everything about, and the last few videos I made on Skyrim really promoted discussion instead of just, I agree with you, or I disagree with you, it's actually a little bit of discussion. So it's really nice to get to learn more about this game from the community, as well as just me myself asking myself questions. So I want to talk about today, is smithing a fun skill in Oblivion? Is it actually worth it in terms of gameplay? Now, smithing by far is the best way in, a, in Skyrim that I know of, along with enchanting to get perk points because of how easy it is to just go raid a dungeon, sell stuff, buy material, smith, wait, sell the smith stuff, buy more material. So it's really easy to upgrade your smith skill. But as a component in Skyrim, I don't actually think it's a very fun or intuitive system. So let me explain. The first thing it added was you carry around a pickaxe and you go mine your ores, right? And the ore mining actually got used for the house building mechanics in the DLC that came with it, which I think is a really cool idea. So then you mine up this ore, you go buy some ore and you smelt it and did the ingots, and then you just craft tools. Now. For me, the only reason I see smithing for is to get dragon armor. Because all the other armor you can find on your own. And in Skyrim, it's you find all this armor and stuff constantly. You find lots more gear than in Oblivion. So they added an element to create your own gear as well. You know, maybe you fill in those missing pieces of you're missing an iron helmet or you're mi you need an elven cuirass or whatever, you know, or a scaled elven cuirass. But in terms of, like, going raiding versus smithing, to me, um, it, it doesn't, it doesn't compute. I think it's an actually, an, either an easy way out to skip the difficulty of the game or just a use of skill altogether. I kind of see it as an athletics type skill where athletics is there just to make, if you grind it out, the game is so much easier in Oblivion um, because of how much fatigue you regenerate all the time. But when it comes to smithing, all you're doing is you're, you know, you're smithing and smithing and smithing and smithing and grinding out this skill that you really don't need in the game. You spend your time getting your gear from sitting there creating stuff rather than going out and you know looting caves and stuff so like this I had this problem with the very first character I made in Skyrim I grinded up smithing to a hundred and enchanting into a hundred this was back when you couldn't legendary your perks um, and then I just went and I started raiding and I had such good gear that everything I picked up for a while I could sell literally everything I could sell and then by the time I think I was level like 20 or 30, I had all the gold I needed. Like, I could do whatever I wanted and it, the game got boring for me. Just because I had all this stuff already so early in the game. And I don't like, I don't like that. I kind of like character progression in the sense that you get your gear as you play the game and get better. You know, Oblivion, when you found a guy with Dwarven armor, you were like, okay, if I kill this guy, I get better gear. You know, the boss of the dungeon or whatever, because they had the weird, like, buffed up bandit warlords and stuff like that. But it's not like that in Skyrim. And, you know, eventually to level up your character, it's pretty important, you know, to upgrade your smithing skill if you want. But I just, I don't see it as a fun mechanic. I feel like if it allowed you to kind of twist your stuff and customize it that would be better so you take i know you could like sharpen things right instead of just creating stuff add the upgrade part maybe you have a dwarven sword and you could upgrade it with like even just little things like it does 50 percent more damage but weighs more or it weighs less but swings slower or buffs that you could apply to it or maybe craft different like handles and hilts and blades and stuff like that just because it would just add another element I mean you can clearly do that in a Bethesda game Fallout 4 you do that 
Fallout 4, the weapon crafting, yeah, it's kind of boring, but it's like, like when you make it, when you make your first 10 millimeter pistol, you know, you get like, you put on different barrels or different sights, you know, whatever, or you make the, was it the pipe? Usually you end up with a pipe rifle that's a revolver, like, that could have been done in Skyrim. So I think if that was part of Skyrim, smithing would be fun, but for now, at least the way that it is in vanilla Skyrim, I think it's pretty boring and useless. But let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. I'd love to know what you think about smithing in Skyrim. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I will see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, or steam a post of whatever I decide to make.